This video is about flow control and an associated concept known as an automatic repeat request. So these are network functions that occur at the data link layer of the protocol stack. The notion behind flow control is that when two computers are communicating, you don't want one to send data to the other so fast that it can't be processed. Remember that this data is being stored temporarily in a buffer on the receiving side, and if the sender sends data too quickly, then the receiver won't be able to process the data, and some data may be overwritten in the buffer before it has a chance to be processed. So flow control will prevent that. So a very simple form of flow control is stop and wait. And the stop and wait form of flow control is directly associated with the stop and wait form of automatic repeat request, or ARQ. Notice that this acronym isn't exactly an acronym. But an automatic repeat request is a way of uh, managing errors and retransmission of data to assure that the information being sent by the source reaches the destination and is not garbled, is not lost, and does not overwrite data in the buffers. So how does this work? I'll illustrate this using a diagram where I have a source and a destination. And I'll represent time is moving downward. So as we move down in this diagram, time is increasing. Now I'll draw one line which represents the source, so the computer from which frames are being sent. Remember that frames are the packets of information or the protocol data units sent in the data link layer and the destination is receiving those frames. So if I wanted the source to send a frame to the destination, I would represent it with an arrow like this. And this is frame zero being sent. And the reason the arrow moves down slightly is that it will arrive at some time after the time at which it was sent. So the frame gets sent, some time passes as the frame passes through the network, and then it reaches the destination at some later point. Once the frame is received, some amount of time has to pass for the destination to process it, to realize that it's received it, to notice that it's in the buffer. Now, after that small amount of time has passed, according to the stop and wait ARQ, the destination will send what's called an acknowledgement. So this frame of information goes back. It also takes some time to arrive back at the source. And this frame is an acknowledgement with a one associated with it. Now why a one? The destination is telling the source that it is ready to receive frame one. It has already received frame zero. It is acknowledging that confirmation by saying, you can send frame one now. Now on the source side, once it receives the acknowledgement, some amount of time passes while it prepares the next frame, and then it will send frame one. Which is then received by the destination. Some time passes and an acknowledgement is sent. Now here is the next confusing thing about stop and wait ARQ. The acknowledgement is an ACK with a zero in it. Now why zero and not one? Well, in the stop and wait ARQ scheme, because every single frame is acknowledged individually, it only maintains two frame numbers, zero and one and it alternates back and forth between them. So once zero is received, it says you can send frame one now. Once frame one is received, it says you can send frame zero now. 
the source is sending more than two frames. It just keeps sending more and more frames. But each frame will be labeled with either a zero or a one. So if all is going well, this process repeats back and forth, more or less forever. We send frame zero, we acknowledge asking for frame one, we send frame one, acknowledge asking for frame zero, and then the whole process repeats. But what if things do not go well? Well, I'll draw another diagram over here to show what that situation is like. So let's say that source sends frame zero to destination. So this is frame zero. But at some point along the way, the frame gets lost. So various errors can happen in network transmission. There could be uh, some sort of disconnection, other various problems, uh, physical damage to the network, congestion could cause the frame to be lost. Um, it may not be forwarded by some other unit in the network. So somehow the frame gets lost and never reaches the destination. This means the destination will never send an acknowledgement. So how do we carry on this communication when the frame is lost. Well, after the frame is sent, the source will wait for some amount of time and then resend it. This is a timeout period. So there's some preset amount of time after which the source assumes that the frame was lost and will simply resend it. So that gets resent here. This time it works and the destination receives it and then acknowledges back just like usual and communication continues without any problem. Now there is another scenario that could happen because it's not only the initial frames that might be lost but the acknowledgments may also be lost. And so let me draw another diagram to show this situation. So in this diagram the source successfully transmits frame zero to its destination. The destination receives it, processes it, and then sends an acknowledgement, but this acknowledgement gets lost in transmission and is never received by the source. Now this situation is actually no different from the first one because from the source's perspective all it knows is that it sent a frame and some amount of time passed without it receiving an acknowledgement. So just as before, once the timeout period passes, it will resend frame zero. Now, it doesn't matter whether the initial frame was lost or the acknowledgement was lost, the source will behave the same way. The destination, of course, is receiving a second copy of the same frame that it received before. But that's fine. Whenever it receives a frame zero, it sends an acknowledgement one. It doesn't care that it has already received that frame. It knows that it can be safely discarded because it already received it. So this is an example of the stop and wait ARQ, which is the scheme of sending these acknowledgement packets asking for the next frame, which is inextricably linked to stop and wait flow control, which is the broader, more general idea of sending frames and waiting between each frame. In the next video, we'll talk about some more complicated and more efficient forms of flow control and automatic repeat requests.